In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, again table equations and graph. So we're going to start from graph, and uh, probably may write the equation from the graph. We can write up a table, and from the table we can write the equation, or from the graph we can write the equation both ways. So this is a graph of a straight line. So this is a straight line. So first, let us find some points on this line. So I can say when x is minus 4 or negative 4, y is 2. So this is one clear point that I can see. So you can say this is minus 4, comma 2. One interesting point is this point. Okay, that is, this is 5. So I can say, well, when x is 0, y is 5. Let me take one more point. Uh, when x is, say, 4, y is 8. So these are the three points that I can see very clearly neat points. There are other points, but they are not neat. Okay, so these are tidy points. So let me make up a table. You got x and a y. Okay, so when x is minus 4, y is 2. When x is 0, y is 5. When x is 4, y is 8. So to write the equation of a graph, we can see, we have to find, first know the y-intercept. Okay, there are two things that we need to know to write the equation of a graph, which is written, uh, referred as a letter C. Y-intercept is where is your graph cutting your y-axis. So I can say, well, it's cutting at phi. So I can say C is equal to phi. Okay, the next thing is, this is your first thing that you should know the y-intercept. And the second thing that you should know is the slope of the graph. Slope, or that's also called the gradient. Okay, so I've already written that, so let me delete that. Okay, so the slope is also called the gradient. So I'll make you familiarize with the different terminology, the same thing, which some say this is change in y, in some books, they call this the change in y over the change in x. They all mean the same thing, change in x. And most popularly, that's also called rise over run. So they all mean the same thing. Rise is the change in y, and run is the change in x. Or this is the, hori this is the vertical change, and this is the horizontal change. Okay, so let me show you how you can on a, from a graph so this is to find the gradient you join these two any two points by uh, drawing a right angle triangle so this is the horizontal change or this is the run and this is the rise so this is you're thinking like this if i want to reach from f this point to this point what's the horizontal uh, change or what's the run so let me show you. So let me write this. This is the run, which is, which is the your change in x. Okay, so what's your run? You're running from minus 4 to 0. So your run is 4. Okay, and you're running to the right, so it is positive. Your rise is up. So again, your run, your rise is positive. Your run can be positive or negative. Your, oh, sorry, this is the rise. I keep confused. Oops keep getting this is your rise okay this is a very important concept if you know this it's very powerful so your rise is up so it's positive you're rising from this is point two and this is point five so your ri rise is three so your rise is positive when you're going up and your rise can be negative when you're going down i'll come to that later so here you're running to the right, so it is positive, and you're going up, so it is positive. That's why this is plus 3 and this is plus 4. So your gradient, in this case, is 3 over 4, which is 0 0.75. Now you may wonder, we may ask, what happens if someone goes from year to year? Would that matter? You go like this, he is rising first, and then runs. 
Does it make a difference? Let's see whether it makes. So this is your rise and this is your run. Again, you're rising up. You're rising from 2 to 8. Rising from, this is your rise. You are at 2 and you're rising up to 8. So your rise is 6. And your run is from minus 4 to plus 4. Okay, so from minus 4 to 0 is 4, and 0 to 4 is 4. So your run is 8. So your gradient, so let me show you this. So gradient is rise over run. Your rise is 6 over 8, which is nothing but 3 over 4, which is 0 0.75. So it doesn't matter. You're joining two points, uh, whichever two points. You can join this two points, or you can join this and this point. The gradient or the slope remains the same. Or logically also you can understand on a line, the gradient or the slope steepness remains constant. Okay, so the so your slope is 0.75, and this is the equation of a line. Equation of a line is y is equal to m times x plus c. So I can say y is equal to 0 0.75 times x plus c is what is phi. Now you may wonder, suppose if you have this, can you write can you write the equation without drawing the graph? You can. So let me show you a different way. So first is the table will directly give you the gradient. So first find the change in y. What's the change in y? This is three and this is four. So if you find the gradient is three over four. That means this is same as 0 0.75 over 1. So what does this mean? Now this means when x changes by 1, or say this means when x changes by 4, y changes by 3. So in this case, can you see the gradient is 6 over 8? So when x is changing by 3, 4, y is changing by 3. So when x is changing by 8, y would change by 6. So try to think in different ways. Now what does this mean? When x is changing by 1, y is changing by 0.75. So this is same as if suppose this changes by 2, this would change by 1.5. Can you see? If this is double, this is also doubled. So let us see this. What's happening here? What's the change here? The change is again 3 and the change is 4. So the gradient is again the same thing, 3 over 4. Now to find the y-intercept, y-intercept is when x is 0. Okay? So think logically. If you want to go to 0, okay, so let me sh write the 0 somewhere here. Yeah. Squeeze in, suppose 0, yeah. Suppose I want to go from minus 4 to 0. So this is a change of, you are going backwards, so you are decreasing by 4. So if you go 4 backwards, okay, yeah, uh, so yeah, oh, so you already got the y intercept, sorry, I didn't need, need to this, sorry, this is, this is very sorry, this is your y intercept, you already had the y intercept, so 0, 5 is nothing but your y intercept, and that's why the equation is 0.75 plus 5.